This is Ishtara Rose from Way of the Rose and I'm here with an audio light transmission um, and this is for the 13th moon and I have a moon temple and in 2020 I made a series of full moon light transmissions every month for a year and I was told by spirit that these were relevant for other years. They came in 2020 but they were relevant for other years and I made them during the actual month of each moon to harness the energies of that moon. So I made them one a month during the energies of that moon. So there were 12 um, for 12 different months, but of course there are 13 moons a year. Um, this is very significant that 13 is the number of the divine feminine and that there are in fact 13 moons a year and this is why it is the number of the divine feminine so just tuning in to this idea this concept of there being 13 moons a year and it means that one month there will be two full moons which is actually called a blue moon it's called a blue moon when there is a month with two full moons in it so that will happen at some point throughout the year so that there can be 13 moons in the year. So I have released 12 moonlight transmissions and this one is for the 13th moon. And it is relevant for any month in any year where there's a blue moon, a second full moon. And of course all my moon transmissions are for all time. So if, for example, you are drawn to the themes of the full moon in June when it is September, then you can do the June full moon in September because you go with what you're drawn to. So this 13th moon is made for the 13th moon but can be done any time you're drawn to listen. And so here we are, the 13th moon, closing your eyes, opening your palms in position to receive, making sure you are comfortable, just feeling yourself. Coming to yourself. Now I'd like you to imagine a beautiful circle around you and this is not so much about protection and keeping things out but this is more about drawing your energy into you and your space. And you can imagine it as four diamonds, one in front, one behind and one to each side honouring north, south, east, west. Four directions, four elements. And these diamonds join up with lines, making a square, if you like, or two triangles. And they also form a circle, so you're sitting within a square, within a circle formed by diamonds. And this is your space, and you choose what comes into your space and what does not. And at the moment, everything in your world, in your life, in every arena, from relationships to career to things you love, hobbies, everything is kept outside of this circle, including beautiful children and loved ones. Because this circle is for you. This is your well. So just feel into this and feel into coming home to yourself. And I'd like you to imagine that you're now entering a golden temple. A golden temple.
What does it look like? What does it feel like? Who is in there to greet you? And in this golden temple, there's a beautiful bed. And it's just imagine how it's decorated and if there are flowers or crystals or curtains around the bed or if it's on the floor or in the air or in a pendulum or, you know, how, however it is, surrounded by crystals, it might be in a crystal star, it might have you know, grids around it. It might be very simple, very complicated, it might be candlelit. might have water flowing around it. And you are going to lie on this bed. This bed is here for you. So you lie down and the most beautiful guides enter space and they've come to heal you and this is your healing. So for the next five minutes, you're just going to lie there and receive the most beautiful healing and you are absolutely going to trust that these guides circling around you now know what they're doing. You might get a sense of them, who they are, where they come from, what they're doing. And you're going to absolutely trust that they're here working for and from the light and they know how to heal you and what you need. And it's now time to receive.
Beautiful. So just feeling the energy is starting to complete. Shamaya laka. Yam huyalamu. Yamu. Yamu. Yamu lala. I am. And when you feel this healing complete, let the guides around you do whatever they need to do just to seal all the light you have received in your energy body and cells. Take it in deep, deep, deep. Shh. And when it's ready, you stand up and you find yourself in the center of this beautiful golden temple facing a lovely guide, some kind of master of the light. Just imagine who it is and how they look. And they're going to give you a gift of a crystal or a diamond. Just feel into it. Feel how it feels, what it looks like. Receive it. Place it around your neck or in your third eye or in your heart or anywhere in your body, perhaps your womb or your hara. Anywhere you need to receive it. And then just looking up and seeing the moon, the beautiful moon. Seeing how she's been watching over you during this healing. Just connect to her light and bring her light down through your crown and into your womb, Ahara. Just breathing with her. Harnessing her light, harnessing her gifts, and then taking her light deeper into the heart of the earth through you. And bringing the light of the earth back up through you, filling with moonlight, with earth light. And coming back to your body, out of the golden temple, into your body, and realizing your body is the golden temple. Your bones are the golden pillars. Your body is the church that houses your soul, the light of God. So just feeling a lot of honor and gratitude for your beautiful temple body. And saying the following words after me. I am self-love. I am self-worth, I am self-belief, I believe in myself and I love myself and I accept myself. When I believe and love and accept others and they, I can allow them to love and believe and accept me. for all that they are and all that I am. Make a commitment to yourself. And we started this audio with this beautiful circle around us, which is really your boundary. And again, it's not so much about protection. It's more about love, letting love in and keeping toxins out is more about rather than stopping horrible things from coming in but more about loving yourself and focusing on your worth your abundance your belief your light 
And as you shine that and hold this beautiful, warm, loving boundary around yourself, you know what is yours and what is others. And you keep strong in what is yours in your beautiful circle of worth and love. And this is your nourishment. And this is your grace. And this is your kingdom. And this is your birthright to sit in this beautiful space and try and do it every day. So this completes this short transmission for the 13th moon. Enjoy. My blessings to you.